Welcome to the open house. Hey, I just got way too many ideas again. I don't know what it is about summer, but it's like overwhelming amount <laughs> of fun things to do. We've just got so much planned. Um, but one of them for this open house, I thought, oh, what should we do? And then it just immediately came to me that we should be doing picnic baskets. So I want you to grab your sketchbook and a mechanical pencil. And we're just going to do some really loose shapes. Now anytime you take a class from me, all of our first projects are very simple and easy and fun. Actually, every project's super fun and super simple and super easy, so no worries. <laughs> but one of the ways that we start out is just by loosely sketching shapes that um, are easy for us to do successfully. And that is kind of an egg shape or a round shape for me. I just think um, we can make so many cute things out of big old round egg shapes. So I'm just going to go in here and put this line in here and this is going to be for our basket. Okay, So here we go, we have an already made cute picnic basket. And this is just going to be kind of a fun collection of four baskets. Okay, and They can all be different. We don't have to have any of them be the same. Or they can all be the same and have a different color, which would be really fun too. All exactly the same, but with different, um, you know, ribbon or a different uh, basket material, that kind of thing. So let's kind of decide what kind of baskets these are going to be. So this is just going to be kind of a big old round. Let's not make it too round because it's going to look like a pumpkin. <laughs> we don't need a pumpkin today. No, this is our summer class. This is not our fall class. Okay, so let's put some big old handles on those picnic baskets, right? This one we can put the handle going down because it has kind of a hinged handle on it right there. And this one, let's just put a big old piece of piece. Let's put a big um, napkin or a kitchen cloth coming out of it. Okay, and then we use our expert erasers here. You like these white erasers? I have it for you. I have a link for you of all the materials needed in our class, and this will be one of them. So we can go along here and make a really pretty lacy edge. And this can be maybe a lace towel, something from your grandma's closet, something maybe that you've kept, an heirloom kind of thing. Or it can just be a fun French stripe, some French linen maybe, something like that. And then let's put two handles on it this way just to make it different. How about that? Big old handles on the side. And maybe another cloth coming down back here and across here. Nick, you come in here and we can add all kinds of detail. So this one perhaps would be more traditional. So this would be kind of a basket weave, which is really easy to do with some hatching. This is just hatching where you come in and add horizontal lines and then come in and add some vertical lines. You can even, if you want to do more shading, you can even actually go in at a diagonal from what you were doing and add more, but you don't need to. You really, really don't need to on this. Just make kind of a big, loose basket pattern on here like this. And when we add paint, it's going to be so cute whole thing is going to be so darling. Okay, so I don't like these great big. I'm going to take off some of these big loops here.
Let's just add little loops there. Okay, so perhaps this one would have big old French bread sticking out of it. That is a lot of bread. Maybe some bottles of wine. This would be kind of Frenchy, right? You could add, or this could be Perrier water. Some kind of pretty water, sparkling water in here. Maybe a big old rounded cheese sticking out. You could put purple or blue paper around it. And then this too, you could add some interesting elements to the basket. It'd be so cute. This one would be fun. We could just add, um, oh, we could add some big loose, loose flowers in here coming out of the side. Okay, maybe it's a big bouquet, so it's all wrapped up and it's got some big old ribbons on it, something like that. And we could add a little, um, maybe the same kind of idea, maybe just some pretty bright blue sparkling water back here. Just because it would look so pretty, you know what I mean? And you could put a hat, you could put a summer hat off here to the side that you just set on the grass. Like that. You could have your book. Perhaps you are in love with a summer read. You could have your book sitting in there. And these are just flowers that you just picked up. Now if they kind of smear, that's just part of life for an artist. You just always have smears everywhere. <laughs> this is our sketchbook, however, so all of these things get moved over either onto watercolor paper or onto something with acrylic um, that we can use acrylic paint on. So no worries, don't worry at this point. These are just ideas. We just love to put down tons and tons of ideas in this class. Okay, so right here, this one, I'm going to put a little top of a kitty's head right here. It's going to be hidden. Little whiskers sticking out. Maybe a little tail coming up back here. And then the rest of it can be filled with um, big old vegetables. Let's put some peaches, actually. Let's not put vegetables. Let's put peaches in here. And this is a pretty cloth coming out. So actually, out of the side, we could still work on those ears. They could be a little better. <laughs> It could be more like a cat. Every single animal I draw, I swear, it turns into a lamb. So we just we have to just give Janelle a little extra allowance for her kitties here. I'm still working on it. I'm working on it. Working. All right, so let's do a big loopy bow coming off the side of that one. So maybe the kitty. You know what? You could have the kitten be like a really pretty cream color, and it could be peaches and cream. This whole basket right here would be peaches and cream. It's just peeking up. Isn't that cute? Just peeking up the top right there. And that basket can be any color at all. You can just add whatever you want to it. You can add little bees buzzing around. Maybe it has a, maybe you bought some honey. Okay. So let's, let's put a, this is our blanket. I decided this one may be. It's really hot today, but at night it cools down. So let's put some ground under these. And then you can add whatever kind of fun ephemera you want. So this one has, you know, our, our pretty little um, Downton Abbey hat over here. This one has like a, a roll of blanket. And it's tied. So we'll put a tie up here. It's tied together. And then this one, maybe this is more traditional. So you've got some sandwiches in here that are wrapped in paper. Maybe you've got some chips. Uh, lemonade. Maybe you have a big old thing of, big old jar of lemonade. You know, pink lemonade in here. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? Big old pink jar of pink, or a big jar of pink lemonade, sorry. <clears throat> which would mean that you'd need glasses. So maybe put some glasses in here, some long stem glasses, 
some straws. Maybe you want to put a straw. Okay. Um, lemons. Let's add a couple bright yellow lemons. So this would be kind of a more traditional basket, but also just a fun and festive one because you've got all these added elements to it. So. And you could add, you know what you could do? You could add your ingredients for your picnic baskets on the side for fun. You could put where you are. Perhaps you could do a picnic basket that reminds you of some place that um, you've visited this summer or that you're planning on visiting, something like that. Each one of these would work up into such a darling um, little watercolor. And that's something that I am kind of focusing on um, for my personal uh, sketching, especially this summer. I've been working on a project called Morning Glories, where every morning I, um, you know, just wake up with the expectation that God's going to put something beautiful in front of me. And I want to capture it. I want to see it first. Seeing is very important. <laughs> and then I want to be able to capture it in some way. So whether it's something real or it's something that um, I've come up with in my own imagination, or if it's a combination of two, which is kind of what this is. Obviously, I've, I've gone on hundreds of picnics in my life, um, but having it be a combination of, you know, things from today, or things I'm looking forward to, or things that just happened, all of those things kind of mix together and play together. And um, so I'm going to show you how, in this class, how funny it is that these little tiny sketches can work up into such fun watercolors. So it's not a big, none of these projects are big and complicated. They're all projects that can be done in a short period of time. And I hope that you just take this on and you find um, something in your picnic basket that brings you joy and, um, and just makes your heart happy. And I can't wait to see you in class. Okay, see you soon. Bye.